Hi everyone, I'm Matt Pinto. Welcome to this Catholic Crypto Conference preview where we're interviewing some really great people and some fascinating topics. And But well, first, let me just say, hi, Kelly. How are you? It's good to be with you. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. So I'm delighted you're with us. So with that in mind, um, Kelly, we've spoken about this word human thriving before. Maybe that's a good starting point. What is the benchmark? What are What are we called to? What are we destined for here on earth in terms of human thriving? Yeah, good. So I, I think I would start, well, I would answer that by saying that our fundamental vocation as human beings is to be like God, to become God-like, to share in his divine nature and rule with him over the cosmos as kings and queens of creation. And that sounds really lofty, but that is what God intended for humankind when he created them. Wow. And that's what he plans on doing in his, uh, in his restoration is wow. to bring us into deep, profound communion with him. We share in his divine nature and we reign over the cosmos, all of the cosmos with him for all eternity. Wow. Um, so what happens, of course, to that great project is sin. And what does sin specifically do is it breaks down relationships and it breaks down the relationship with God, with ourselves, with each other, and with really the whole created order. So instead of now ruling over the created order with our fellow man and, 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 and woman with humanity in, in relation to God, our relationships have been marred and they've been struck. And that which is supposed to be the greatest source of joy, our relationship with God and with others now has become, for most of us, the greatest source of our pain, isn't it? Either the relationships that we have with our family that have broken down or with ourselves, uh, self-hatred and guilt, anxiety, all that's a result of sin. It's not supposed to be that way. God didn't create us that way. And we long to be in a, in a reconciled relationship with our creator. I think when you get past all everything that's there and you go to the depths of our being, we want to be in a good relationship with him. Uh, with each other and really with all of the cosmos. We're looking for restoration then. We are, we are destined for the, such a glory. My goodness, thank you for that. So how does this connect to the Sabbath? What, what is the connection between human thriving and Sabbath? So the idea of rest, it's, it's meant to sanctify, right? You sanctify yourself, you sanctify the time, you sanctify your home by having this rest, right? The rest sanctifies. And in or but but it's also a, a sign or a token, God says. He says that it's a token um, of the relationship. So in order for us to do that, we do have to trust in him that he is going to provide. And that's not an easy thing. That's not an easy thing at all. Um, to take a day out of our schedule and to spend it being sanctified with God, with our family, and in doing other good activities for ourselves and allowing God to provide for us as he sees fit. So what would be some of the more sublime benefits to us uh, with Sabbath rest? Sabbath rest can extend to a lot of different things, maybe like putting away our phone, right? It can extend to um, maybe reading things that we don't normally read. And so there's an aspect of discipline that comes with Sabbath rest, doesn't it? Engaging in rituals that maybe are hard for us. Um, so there's an aspect of the Sabbath, which is... Uh, which is difficult, and that is the overcoming of slavery. Mm. Um, we seem to, oddly enough, enjoy being in a state of slavery, mm. slavery to our phones, maybe slavery to our work, slavery to whatever it might be. And so Sabbath rest is a time when God gives us a particular grace, right? a particular moment during the week when those battles that we're engaging in um, are easier for us to overcome. What would you consider a, a success? Um, you deliver your message. If people could take away what, you would consider it a success. Well, the, the goal is lofty, but I would love them to see the, the, the laws of God as a means of human flourishing. Uh, but the rejection of God's laws, it can bring an immediate relief. But what it does seem to bring is a long-term suffering. Instead of seeing the laws of God as something which uh, will hold us down, will keep us from human flourishing, they're antiquated, they're silly, they're ridiculous. Um, I would like them to see at least the law of the Sabbath as something which is God's gift to us, done in great love 
to slave us from uh, uh, toil, to slave us from ourselves, and to live in a good, holy relationship with him. Thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you at the conference. And thank you to all of you who are watching these previews that we're putting out about the conference. Uh, we hope you've been blessed by them. I really say with great confidence that there's so much more that we're going to be covering at the first Catholic Crypto Conference, a focus on technology and, and the good, the bad, how we can use it offensively as a church, how we can have a voice uh, in it to prevent uh, and mitigate misuses. So I think it's going to be a great event. I look forward to seeing you there. Kelly, thank you once again. Thank you. And uh, check us out at catholiccryptoconference.com where you can learn more and hopefully join us. Thank you.